The history of mankind is the instant between two strides taken by a traveler. Start with what is right rather than what is acceptable. It is comforting to reflect that the disproportion of things in the world seems to be only arithmetical. I am a questioner, I question the world and the other questioners and, strangely, myself as well. Always first draw fresh breath after outbursts of vanity and complacency. The possibilities are numerous once we decide to act and not react. Anyone who keeps the ability to see beauty never grows old. In the struggle between yourself and the world. Second the world. If it had been possible to build the Tower of Babel without climbing it, it would have been permitted. Anyone who cannot come to terms with his life while he is alive needs one hand to ward off a little his despair over his fate, but with his other hand he can note down what he sees among the ruins. I have the true feeling of myself only when I am unbearably unhappy. Association with human beings lures one into self-observation. One must not cheat anyone, not even the world of its victory. One advantage in keeping a diary is that you become aware with reassuring clarity of the changes which you constantly suffer. I am always alone, wherever I am. The mediation by the serpent was necessary. Evil can seduce man, but cannot become man. It is not necessary that you leave the house. Remain at your table and listen. Do not even listen, only wait. Do not even wait, be wholly still and alone. The world will present itself to you for its unmasking, it can do no other, in ecstasy it will writhe at your feet. Hiding places there are innumerable, escape is only one, but possibilities of escape, again, are as many as hiding places. We are born in the same way as we die, alone and without knowing why. A stair not worn hollow by footsteps is, regarded from its own point of view, only a boring something made of wood. May I kiss you then? On this miserable paper. I might as well open the window and kiss the night air. Time is short, my strength is limited, the office is a horror, the apartment is noisy, and if a pleasant, straightforward life is not possible, then one must try to wriggle through by subtle maneuvers. Life's splendor forever lies in wait about each one of us in all its fullness, but veiled from view, deep down, invisible, far off. It is there, though, not hostile, not reluctant, not deaf. If you summon it by the right word, by its right name, it will come. I write letters with my hands to those who do not know me. I lead a life that is not mine. The only thing that is mine is everything that I do not have. He who seeks does not find, but he who does not seek will be found. 